updates on Meek Mill in jail. Young Thug wants to be the next Lil Wayne. And Jordan Sparks is single. You're watching The Drop. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Cynthia Luciette. And I'm Jay Snow, and this is Black White, the new Argyle culture mannequin. Russell Simmons himself sent these clothes for me to wear, but I was like, fuck that shit. We got a mannequin. I threw it on a mannequin. Outfits will change every week, so just stay tuned. Yeah. Russell don't watch the show any fucking way. Why are you calling him Black White? Because he's black, but he's dressed white. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes no. sense. So Rick Ross posted a picture of Meek Mill in jail with the caption, Meek Mill in the building, all OGs round him, hashtag free Meek Mill. Yeah, he also later posted another picture of Meek Mill in a gray jail sweatsuit, just posted up against the white wall. Very basic picture. Here's the thing, Rick Ross and Meek Mill and everybody else in attendance of prison, nobody cares about what the inside of prison looks like. No. Except for you. To me, it was just too much information. Like at this point, Meek Mill is like a rapper, superstar type person. And it's like, you really want to see him in jail again, just like, Sitting at a lunch table with all a whole bunch of old people in jail. It looks so sad and depressing. It looked like He's they all smiling. got paid to be there in that table. Like, everybody got a pack of cigarettes. Don't fight Meek Mill in this picture, please. <laughs> Snap. All right, now I'm going to that. Like, whenever T.I. went to jail, it was like, free T.I. Chris Brown, free Chris Brown. You haven't heard free Meek Mill at all. No, just from Rick Ross. He's the only one tweeting this shit. Well, all Cassell Cena did when they did a show in Philly. He was like, free Meek Mill. Say, free Meek Mill! Free Meek Free Meek Mill. Hey, free Meek Mill. let's say it just to say it. Free, free Meek, Meek Mill. Mill. Hashtag Free Meek Mill. Well, yeah, sure, why not? Jordan Sparks and Jason Derulo have decided to call it quits after three years of being together and getting engaged. It's just so sad. It's so sad. It is sad, but it's like, who really cared about them as a couple? I mean, Jordan Sparks, whatever happened to her career? That's what I'm worried about, not this relationship. I don't <laughs> There are so many rumors going around that Jason Rulo cheated on her and that's why they broke up, but he took to his Instagram and was like, I didn't cheat, she didn't cheat, there was nothing like that. It was just an amicable split. So I was like, okay, cool. I don't believe in those. I think somebody had to be in the wrong or something had to happen. I think Jason Derulo probably had some bitches on the side and probably never got caught or did get caught and Jordan was just like, oh, fuck it. Speaking of that, she actually tweeted that she's back in the studio now and she's just like, sing, write, repeat. It's all about the music now. Blah, blah, blah. She's probably have. gonna come out with a dope ass <laughs> album. She's she about to blow up. Break. She had the No Air song with Chris right. Brown. Yeah, she the had the Love is Like War song that was really popular on the radio station. She was like really going here. She was popping. She got in a relationship she kind of just... She lost her weight. She lost her weight. She and lost her weight and she lost her will. Well, rest in peace with the relationship, you know? I thought that they had staying power, but... Jordan, you get back in that studio, boo-boo. You make you another album with a No Air song and just go platinum plus, you get Grammys, all that shit. I see that happening for Jordan I see Sparks. that happening for Jordan Sparks. I wish her that. So Young Thug released his new video for his song called Two Bees, Danny Glover. one clear shot in the entire video. It was like every shot was mixed with another shot and then it was and just cut. like, you couldn't really see what was happening was in the cuts. video. It was, it was hella jump cuts in that bitch. It, yeah. It's weird to me that he's wearing nail polish. Everybody always talks about him wearing nail polish, but I never bothered to really look. But no, he really just- Oh no, he goes there. He goes he there. Goes he's there. like the Dennis Rodman of rap. That's such a fucking good way to place him with Dennis Rodman. I don't know, this song was old. I thought this video was out a long ass time ago, but. Well, I mean, now that he's more popular, I think he's getting more budgets from Birdman. From Birdman, for sure, with that handshake shit. They just got a cute handshake. Something is a little off. It's probably gangs. It probably has to do something with a gang. A gang, right? No. Gangs don't have handshakes. They do have handshakes. Well, while he was actually on set for this video, he said that he's gonna name his debut album The Carter Six. And that's crazy. Because he wants to keep Lil Wayne's Carter series alive. I think he would get so much backlash for that. Oh. Just for me alone, I'd be like, no, no, let it, let, let my shit be my shit. Don't try to jump on board. If I ever believed in like people selling their soul to the devil to get famous, like it would have to be Young Thug. Cause like this nigga has everybody rapping to a song and you don't know the fucking word. He really made the first song you don't need to know the words to it, it's still bang. So Family Guy finally did a crossover episode with The Simpsons and it aired last night. This was a really highly anticipated show. Rant or rave? 
I raved because I think it lived up to its hype and it did justice. It had a lot of laughs. They took shots at other shows like Bob's Burgers, the Cleveland show Crashing and Burning. It was just so funny seeing them take shots at each other's shows. They even had Stewie and Bart do some prank calls and Stewie just went ham compared to Bart's normal, oh, I'm gonna give you a name to say or something. There was an epic fight between Peter and Homer and the shit lasted about 10 minutes. To me, I was like, fuck, this is the longest fight I've ever seen on a cartoon, but it was worth it. They even referenced the Flintstones and how they had their family back in the Stone Age and whatnot and where these concepts were a family of five with an animal came from. I thought it would be exactly how I imagined because The Simpsons has sort of a mild humor that can sort of be raunchy, Family Guy just takes it there. I, I like to see other cartoon shows do crossover episodes because it's just fun to see the characters relate to each other and talk about other shit. What are some of your favorite shows you'd like to see crossover? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so what do you guys think Young Thug should name his first album? Leave some comments below. And let us know what you think we should name the Argyle Culture Mannequin. The most likes wins. And that's what he will forever be named as. And that's what he will forever be named as. Exactly. Make sure you share this video and subscribe to All Def Digital. I'm Jay Snow. I'm Cindy Luciette. And this is Black White until you name him. See you tomorrow on the job. <laughs>